Hey, Mark Rice here. I got a few requests for top-down car drawings, so be ready for the race. And if you want to be master of the flat design and download over 500 illustrations, check out gigantic.store. Okay, so this will be the long tutorial, but it will be amazing, I promise, and it will be perfect illustration. So, for the first time in my tutorials, I will use Polygon tool. Okay, so select the Polygon tool. Hold Shift and just draw it. And it will be purple in my case. You can change the color if you want. Rotate it by 270 degrees. Okay, copy it. Control C, Control F. Okay, and move it here. I need the rectangle as well. Okay, something like this. Select all the shapes, align to the center, and unite the shapes. Doom. Okay, beautiful. Now I will select these corners here. Hold Shift, then select these corners as well. These corners, and these corners. Okay, and make these corners round. Just a little bit. Okay, I like it. Now select this corner, and this will be the back side of the car, so it needs to be rounded more than the front side. Okay, let me check. I like it, not bad. And here I will do the same, but just a little bit. Okay, I need that arrow shape for the car. And at the end, I will select these corners as well. Up, 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 up. Okay. Like that. And that's it. I like it. So basically, this is the basic shape of the car. And now we can start with the details. Okay, so first I will draw the rectangle and it will be black. Okay, select these corners, make these corners round, something like this. And this part of the rectangle will be rounded. Okay, as you can see, it's already beautiful. Okay, then I will copy this shape, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, change the size and use light purple color, something like that. Okay, beautiful, move it here. And select just these points and move these points here. Let me check. Hmm, I'll do that again because I don't like this shape. So first I will move it here, something like this and change these points. And I want to increase the black part because I need the bigger backside windows. Okay, beautiful. Cool. Now, as you can see, everything is so flat. It means that I need to add more shapes here. And I will start with the rectangle. And the wide of the shape needs to be the same as the windows. Okay. Move it here. Increase the size. And make this part of the shape rounded. Okay. Then select the new shape together with the basic shape and send to back. Hmm, I like it. Okay, as you can see here, I don't need this part, so I will select the basic shape and copy it, Control C, Control F, then select the copied shape together with this bright rectangle, use the white, ungroup and delete everything except this part. Okay, basically that's it. And now I will create the back window. So I will draw the rectangle here. I will use the same color as the roof. Okay. Let me check this part here. Now it's okay. Control C, Control F. And move here the copied shape. Okay. Select all these shapes and use Unite. So now I just created the one shape from the roof and these shapes. Okay. I'll select this point together with this anchor point 
and create something like this. <laughs> I like it. Okay, beautiful. Now I want to add more detail. For example, here I can draw one line. It will be pink or something like that. Copy it. Okay, I like it. Then copy the basic shape, Control C, Control F. Copy these lines, Control C, Control F, and select the copied lines together with the copied shape. Unite and delete everything except this part and this part. Okay, so as you can see here, I have double lines and don't worry about that. You can copy it with Control plus X, then select the lines together with the basic shape of the car and send to back. Control plus F, back double lines. And I need these lines just for the roof. So copy the roof, Control C, Control F, select the double lines and use the white in the pathfinder. Ungroup all and delete everything except this part and this part. Let me check. Okay, <laughs> great. Beautiful. Maybe here I can use a lighter color. Now here I can add one more detail. It will be dark purple. Okay, send to back. And I will copy it. Control C, Control F. Reflect it. Move it here. Okay, now copy the basic shape of the car. Control C, Control F. Select it together with these lines. The white. And delete everything except these lines. Beautiful details. Now the lights. And the light will be very simple. So for the light, I will draw the yellow rectangle. Okay. Make these corners round just a bit. And these corners round until the end. Okay, something like this. Let me check. I like it. Copy it. Move it here. Okay. Beautiful. Now the wheels will be very simple. I will use black color for it. Make these corners round, something like this. Send to back, copy it. Group the shapes and use the back wheels for the front wheels. Okay, cool. Now the back lights. So, for the back lights, I will use the basic shape of the car. Draw C, Control F, change the size and change the color as well. I will use red color for it. Okay, something like this. Now I will swap fill and stroke like this and change the stroke size. So for example, it can be 15 in my case. Okay, and I don't need all that. So I will cut one part with the rectangle. So here. I will draw one rectangle and one more rectangle like this. Select the new rectangles together with this basic shape and use minus front tool in the pathfinder. Okay, something like this. Double click on the shape. Now I just isolate the shape, delete this part. I don't know, maybe I can delete this part, this part. Or leave it like that. I don't know. I will see. And let me check. Okay, not bad. I'll leave it like that. Stroke and I need round cup for that part. And for this part as well. So go here into object, path and use outline stroke. Okay, I like it. Not bad. I will leave it like that for now. And here I will add a glow windows, here as well. And basically that's it. For that I will use the rectangle tool. Rotate it by 45 degrees. Move it here, something like this. 
Control plus X, then isolate the window shape, Control F, copy it, Control C, Control F, so copy the black part and select it together with this glow, the white, and delete everything except this. Okay, cool. And I will do the same here. Okay, let me check the color. I like this one. So here will be one shape, and here will be the second. Okay, Control X, isolate this part, Control F, copy this part, Control C, Control F, select it together with the glow, the white, and delete everything except this part and this part. Okay, so basically that's it. Now I want to add an outline. So I'll copy all these shapes. Control C, Control F, use Unite, and I just created the one shape from these shapes. Paint it in black color, and here swap fill and stroke. Change the size for the stroke. In my case, it will be 22, for example. And send to back. Okay, group all these shapes, and now we can draw the background and some cool effects here. Okay, beautiful. So, first, I will draw the background something like this. Send to back. Now, I'll draw something like a street. Okay, and I will use the gradient for it. So go here into Gradient tab, or turn it here into Windows. And here, change from 0 angle to 19. Here I will create one more point. Now, for this part, I will use Gigantic Master Colors version 2. Okay, beautiful. So let me check that this part can be orange. And this can be purple. Okay, something like this. I like it. This one will be purple as well, but opacity will be zero. Okay. And I will do the same here. This one will be orange. Okay. But the opacity will be zero as well. And I will create something like this. And I like it. Then I will copy this gradient, Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Change the size and I will use it like a trails. Okay. Cool. And here I will try with black colors. So here will be black and opacity will be 50. Here will be black as well. Black black and opacity will be 50. Let me check. Maybe it's too dark. So instead 50, try with 35. Okay, it's much better. I'll copy this shape for the other side. Now I will group the background with Ctrl plus G. I will copy the card, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and use Unite in the Pathfinder. So here I will show you how you can create a cool effect. Okay, I will change the size. I will cut this part and I can increase it. Something like this, okay. Select the car, bring to front, and look at this. For this part, I will use the gradient as well. So go into swatches and select the gradient, and here type 19. So I will use this color for the gigantic master colors, like this, or this one, like this. Okay, beautiful. Here the opacity will be zero. And here the opacity will be 70. Or maybe 100. Why not? Okay. I like it. Now I will draw the effect for the lights. 
So I will use just the rectangle. And for the gradient, instead 19 will be minus 19. Okay, so now I have opacity up and down is full color and I will swap colors to yellow. Okay, beautiful. Here for the opacity, I can use 50. Control C, Control F, move it here. And I can do the same for the backlights. So first I will draw the rectangle. Something like this. Okay. 19. And change the position of this point here. Okay, something like this. Change the colors as well. Okay, cool. Copy it. Reflect it. Now I will select these effects of the lights together with the car and group it. Control plus G. Here I can add one more gradient. Bring to front the car. Okay, something like this. And here I can add something like a fire or something like that. So... Okay, I will use the circle for it, copy it, move it here. The white, delete everything except this center part. Okay, beautiful. Zip. I will use gradient, 19 degrees. Here on the top will be blue. Okay, here as well. The opacity will be 10 and I will copy it one more time. Control C, Control F, change the size. And here on the top, instead blue, use white. Let me check. I like it. Group the shapes. Move it here. And basically that's it. You are ready for the race. Okay, and if you want to go a few steps further and learn even more or just hang out with me on a daily basis, become part of this incredible list here. You will be able to watch my exclusive video tutorials and become part of the private community. This will be game changer for you if you are serious about your creative future. So take action right now and do something good for you and your family. And remember, stay tuned, because the best is yet to come. Peace.